good morning. I pray you're doing well. Uh, just on the road to uh, one of my favorite places. It's a place I uh, grew up racing at. It's called Mammoth Mountain. It's in California. Just going up there to just relax and uh, fellowship with a good brother of mine. And you know, just pray. Uh, use this as a time to just be with the Lord. You know, I have a, actually a pretty stressful job, and I would really like to post videos every day. However, with that and just everything, it's just difficult. You know, the world is always trying to pull us away from time with our Lord, with time just like I mentioned before for his fellowship. I've said this on many occasions that I don't have a church home. I used to. However, most churches in these last days do not want to follow sound doctrine. As a matter of fact, many are even following doctrines of demons. And it may be subtle. It may just be small, subtle things. However, we follow the full and true and whole and holy word of God, or, or we don't. To pick bits and pieces out and to tailor it and to Know, follow what mom and dad taught us which may have not even accurate or true that's why I always encourage everyone to study scripture for oneself to go before the Lord for oneself to to go and pray and seek the Holy Spirit on everything it says to test all spirits even the spirit of the, the television if you will you know uh, anyway the reason why I'm making this video is because we are in the last hour. Scripture tells us that the uh, the spirit of the Antichrist is already here. And everything you see going on is by the activity of Satan. And then once the rapture takes place, once the restrainer is removed, and once we who are alive and left when the Lord comes and appears in the clouds, when we are caught up when the dead in Christ rise and then when we are changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye after we are removed, chaos death destruction just absolute calamity will come upon the earth and after what I believe the first wave if you will happens and there's destruction everywhere and there's no peace and they've tried to resort to a digital one world currency and you see the handwriting on the wall there'll be rebellion there'll be revolt mystery babylon i believe will be destroyed during the first wave if you know what i mean the first wave of calamities scripture really points to the usa Mystery Babylon will be destroyed first. And in that is a way that the rest of the world will have to fall into submission. Once all this takes place, the man of lawlessness will be revealed. It is not until we are taken out of the way, not until the Holy Spirit, not until the restrainer is taken out of the way, and then the man of lawlessness will be revealed. But like I mentioned before, Everything you see going on is already by the activity of Satan. It's, these things have got to be in place before our enemy, before Satan's minion is set up to do Satan's bidding. That is why you see everything happening. It has to be set up ahead of time. Don't be fooled. I know many are waiting to enter the tribulation willingly. I mean, they are willingly pastors or preaching in their congregation 
that they're going to willingly go into the tribulation. There are people that are called within the body of Christ. At least they say they're called within the body of Christ who are willingly going to go into the tribulation because they want to. Because the rapture, the harpazo, the catching away, the rescue is a choice. And I've said this, if not hundreds of times, thousands of times. It is a choice. You must make a conscious choice to follow Jesus Christ. You make, must make a conscious choice for the rescue. And I want to encourage you, please hear this message. We are in the last hour. Scripture has told us over and over again to wait upon our Lord. Wait upon and wait for our blessed hope, Jesus Christ, the Savior. Wait for Him. It is not by our own strength or deeds that we are saved. It is only by trust and belief in the blood of Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross, the finished work, what He performed on the cross, the punishment He took on the cross, the redemption, payment in full, everything that He did for us. He showed us the way that many choose the world. Do not choose the world. Choose Jesus Christ. And many say, oh, I do choose Jesus Christ, but my religion says this and this and this. And, and this is the problem. That is the problem. I hope you understand. This is this is serious. Many have fallen away. It says in the last days, before the appearing of Jesus Christ, the falling away, the mass apostasy will happen. We have seen that happening. We see the world completely falling apart. We see the world following everything that is evil, everything that is bad, everything that is anti-Christ in nature. And many, even within the body of Christ, are partnering with it. Maybe unknowingly, but nonetheless partnering with it. And we cannot do this. We must have our affections only on Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. He is our Lord. Today, please hear this message. Please hear this message. We are almost home, my friends. The rapture will take place. We will be rescued. Calamity, destruction, fire will come upon the earth. This is just biblical. This is the this is the truth. This is within scripture. I want to encourage you to not give up. I want to encourage you not to stop, but to fully follow Jesus Christ wholeheartedly. The rapture will happen any minute. I love you to do this day. I'm going to send this message and pray. Bye-bye.